Blythe the Half-Wolf is a key NPC character most notably known as being Ronnie's shadow and playing a large role in her quest line, but it is not commonly known that he has his own mini quest, if you will, near the very beginning of the game. He can help to defeat an early ever jail boss that ultimately nets you a very powerful weapon that can carry you through the game. Upon completion of his mini quest, he also rewards you a somber smithing stone too and unlocks a purchasable talisman from War Counselor E.G. Join me now to learn the secret of Blyde. Blythe can first be discovered in the Mistwood Ruins as shown on the map. However, it is not obvious he is here initially. Run around the ruins and you will hear a howl periodically that sounds like this. You will also notice on the map that it says Blythe the Half Wolf is at the ruins, but no matter how hard you search, you will not find him here, at least not yet. Travel to Merchant Kale on the map as shown and speak to him about the howling in the Mistwood. He will tell you that it is Blythe who is skulking about. He suggests that you meet him for yourself. Simply signal when you're on top of the howl and he will be summoned. He will then gift you the finger snap emote to summon Blythe. There is nothing to fear, according to Kale. Return to the ruins in the Mistwood and stand somewhere within them using the finger snap emote that Kale just gave you. This should summon Blythe near you if not directly in front of you. Speak with him and he will inform you that he is looking for someone called Darawil and should you find him to report back to him. He says that Darawil is a traitor that must be dealt with and if you assist him in his mission your efforts will be rewarded. So begins the search for Darwill. The search for Darwill doesn't take you too far as you will find him within his Everjail and Limgrave on the marker shown. Enter the Everjail and you will be able to summon Blythe via his gold summon sign near the center. Walking out of the Everjail circle will trigger Darwill to spawn, so as long as you do not exit, you have as much time as you'd like to summon Blythe. Blythe will basically be able to solo Darwill himself, so you should be able to do this rather early on in your playthrough. Upon defeating Darwill, he will drop the Bloodhound's Fang. Once Darwill has been eliminated, you can speak to Blythe near the edge of the Everjail. He will gift you a somber smithing stone too as your reward for helping him. He will also mention a blacksmith who is of a large size located to the north of Rhea Lucaria. He instructs you to let him know that, should you meet him, that he sent you and that you will be taken care of. This is a rather cryptic message, but it will in time, pay off. When you finally find War Counselor E.G. to the north of Rhea Lucaria on the map as shown, begin speaking with him. After going through some dialogue about the Carrion Manor ahead of you and how the Carrion Knights repelled the attack of the Knights of the Cuckoo, you will be able to select an option that Blythe sent you. E.G. will be surprised that you met him, but, like Blythe said, he will take care of you, allowing for you to purchase a special talisman from him, the Carrion Filigreed Crest, which reduces FP consumed by skills. This ultimately concludes Blythe's mini quest and the available items contained within it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell. It helps me out a ton. If you need help with any other quests, make sure to check my Elden Ring quest playlist. New quests coming every week. As always, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one.